In the Colorado River's rugged canyon, an audacious idea took shape. Engineers envisioned taming floods, powering cities, and shaping a new West. Congress approved funding in 1928, setting the stage for a monumental project. Designs blended emerging concrete technology with massive scale and precision. Surveyors scouted Black Canyon, where geology and logistics collided. By 1931 the work began against drought, heat, and public scrutiny. Contractors diverted the Colorado through four massive tunnels. Dramatic rock blasting open channels filmed in sweeping archival footage. Concrete placement required continuous pours, cooling, and inventive techniques. Engineers solved temperature cracks with steel pipes and monitored cooling. The dam's crest rose, seen from drone views of sheer vertical walls. Powerhouses and turbines were installed to transform water into electricity. Thousands of workers flocked to the site, drawn by pay and purpose. Accommodations grew into booming camps with hospitals, shops, and schools. Danger was constant, stories of sacrifice became part of the legend. By 1935 the arch rose impressively as the river tamed into a reservoir. Names like Hoover and Reeves marked meetings of politics and engineering. When the gates closed, the nation watched a symbol of American resolve. The reservoir, Lake Mead, reshaped desert ecology and spurred growth. Hydroelectric power lit industries, irrigated fields, and fueled post-war expansion. Yet debates about water rights and environmental cost continue to this day. Engineers still study Hoover for lessons in scale, risk, and innovation. Today the dam stands as both monument and working infrastructure. Invention met infrastructure here, leaving a legacy carved in concrete.